Hey guys, welcome to the practice problems for circles, level hard. Ready? All right, let's get into it. So let's take a look at the question. Again, we have a nice diagram here. It looks like a cylinder. Uh, we've got X and Y for the, uh, looks like the diameter, sort of the width of the cylinder. And we've got Y for the height. Now, let's read the question. So it says the right circular cylinder above has a diameter X and height Y. Of the following expressions, which represents the volume of the smallest rectangular box? Let's, first of all, we want volume. So we know that. Volume of the smallest rectangular box that completely contains the cylinder. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. We want to fit this in some sort of a box. I'm just gonna do a, a crude drawing here. We wanna fit this in some sort of a rectangular box that'll kinda of look like this. Again, sorry for my drawing. Okay, all right, so it's gonna look something like this. I'm gonna put this guy in there and it's just the very smallest. So we've gotta think about how to do that and with we gotta do that with the values that they've provided. All right, so in order to calculate the volume of a box, it's simply, right, length, uh, let me write it down here. It's simply length times width times height. It's kind of like calculating the area of a rectangle, but just with one more dimension. So length times width times height. So we need to calculate this uh, width, this kind of uh, length or depth, and then this value, the height. All right, so we need to calculate those three things. So what, what do they have to be? Well, let's think about it. We've got this cylinder, and we know that the diameter right here is X. So that means going from here to here is X. We also know going from here to here is X, even though it doesn't look like it, right, because it's a 3D drawing, but, so we've got uh, X going that way and X going this way. And then over here, we've got Y, right, going up and down. So bottom line is, all we have to do is have a, a width across, or length across of x, a depth or a width of x as well, right? To get sort of the circle part in. And then we have the height here of y. That's it. And it'll fit in that box. It's kind of an interesting question because you might think, all right, well, I'm gonna have to use my cylinder volume equation and all that, but, but you really don't. It's, it's much more simple than that. So what is the volume of this, of this, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, rectangular box, and it's simply length or X times width or X times height or Y, which gives us X squared Y. And that is B right there. Done. 